Hey guys, uh, there was a little discussion about DNA and I wanted to talk about that real quick. Apparently there's this thing in the media and they're grasping at straws and they're trying to say there's no DNA from Trevon on the gun and George said there was, so that's a lie. And I'm going to show you, according to this article, which is Forensic Magazine, that absolutely that's not true. In fact... I would be surprised to find Trevon's DNA on a, that smooth, wet object out in the rain that night the, where he just touched it for maybe a second or so. I would be surprised that it stuck. And the, this is articles uh, just basically on what we're talking about. You know, common questions. And the question is, is DNA always left on an object via touch? And they say, no, it's not. And then they talk about the studies that have, the, and the tests that they've, they've used to prove that it's, that it's not. And for example, they, uh, they found that 12 of 30 subjects transferred little or no DNA to sterile tubes after handling them for 10 seconds. So, you know, 10 seconds of handling. That's like handing Trevon the gun and saying, here, play, the, play with this for a little bit. Do, 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 do. Okay, hand it back now. You know, 10 seconds. That's a long time. Still no DNA. And the reason for that is DNA mainly c gets on the hands when you rub your eyes and stuff like that. So, you know, a person that doesn't typically put their hands in their face or on their eyes, they're not going to have much DNA, if any at all, on their hands that are going to, it's going to be transmittable, that's going to be detectable. So you can, I'm going to scroll through this article a little bit. And you can stop it and read it if you like. It's basically just saying that, you know, the odds that a, that you're going to get some a DNA pickup are not very good at all. And as you continue on, we can see which factors would indicate, would increase the the possibility that DNA would be picked up. And, you know, it says here certain uh, certain people are shedders. They, they spread more DNA. And we wouldn't be able to verify that. That wouldn't help us. Let's see what else. If you washed your hands or, say, your hands got wet when you were in the rain, that would also shed... Uh, cells leaving little DNA for available for transfer. Personal habits: some individuals wash their uh, or touch their face. So if you're touching your face, your eyes, your nose, your hair, etc., more than others, you'd be picking up the DNA from those areas to be transferred onto the next thing. And how hard he he pressed on the gun how much how much pressure he got to on the gun um, would matter i mean if he could have got a lot of pressure maybe he could have squeezed off if he had anything on his hands he could have got it to stick uh, another thing is the surface because it, like i said earlier it's it's a smooth surface gun smooth it's not going to hold as much as say maybe a woods uh if you had a a baseball bat and you were beating somebody with a baseball bat then then there would be more likelihood that the DNA would pass from your hands onto that wood and stick but in this case no not likely so you know it goes on you can read the whole thing and I'm gonna give you the link in the in the information below the video here it's all just just a little information so you can you know inform yourself and you don't have to waste your breath talking about DNA and whether the fact there was no DNA on the gun makes a bit of difference in this case. All right. Oh, good talking to you.
talk to you later.